How's it going guys? TJ here again. So last week I made the jump to the Tug Night 9 and I have found, and I know what you might be thinking, really TJ, yet another decision change, but in my defense, and I did upload the 11 inch iPad Pro unboxing and review a couple of months ago when it first came out, if you guys want to still check those out just because, but the reason why I made the jump to this 29 inch iPad is, well, there's a couple of reasons why. First and foremost, let me tell you conclusively, after using both now, I can say the 29 inch iPad is where it's at. This new design change drastically changed the usability of this size. In the past, I would have adamantly denied and just not suggested anyone buy the Trump of Nine Inch iPad for the simple fact that it was just way too huge. And sure, some people that bought it just didn't care about its cumbersome size, but I thought it was just crazy huge in the past. But now with this design change, it is just perfection. Now let me quickly explain why I didn't initially still support the idea of buying this thing. For one, it is ungodly expensive. But you have to think of it like this. If it, if it helps in, in your mind to justify the price, think of it as Apple's natural evolution of the math that they're not willing to admit is what it is. That's essentially what it is. In my opinion, at least, this is the natural evolution of the Mac. It's this nearly 13 inch iPad Pro that is super powerful. Keep in mind, guys, this is, this thing is almost as powerful as a 15 inch MacBook Pro. It, so it has plenty of power under the hood. It has a gorgeous liquid record display. Again, so it's not 9 inches, so basically 13 inches. And it just has the perfect form factor. It's just basically a slab of glass with a little bit of edges around the display, nothing too bad. And you guys all know this. I know you guys all know the design of things. I'm just saying, I can't think of a more perfect device than this. So how could it be better? A couple of ways. Apple could introduce file management. Proper file management. I'm not talking iCloud Drive. Yes, we know we have iCloud Drive right there, and that's cool. But how about something there like an actual file management system similar to what we would have on Mac OS, obviously? And yes, everyone will say, well, this isn't meant to be a Mac OS. And no, it's not. But I wonder if that's also a bad thing. I wonder if that's a weakness of iOS because I'm not saying Apple should just transition iOS to a, to a desktop OS. Obviously not. A mobile OS is best at being a mobile OS. I, I think that, you know, that's common sense. But what they could do is add file management as well as one other crucial thing, and that is cursor support. Allow us to use a Bluetooth mouse with this thing. Please, Apple. I've been saying it for so long. You can go back and watch my previous videos. I said it at least a few times in those videos. And this still rings true for something like this. Especially with the Trump Night Down Inside Apple. With it being so perfect in terms of the form factor. Perfect size. It, it's, it's plenty of screen real estate for anything you want to do, whether it be uh, productivity, casual use, uh, creative purposes, art, drawing, painting, um, video editing, photo editing, whatever you might be doing on this thing, it, it just could so benefit from the ability to disconnect a Bluetooth mouse. And if you go on the discussion thread, the, you know, the Apple discussion threads online, you will get a lot of mixed opinions on this topic. Some people will just say, no, 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 Apple will never do it, Apple should never do it. But then you get people like me who are just like, yeah, this is, this is just common sense. This, this should happen. And whether or not Apple will do it is an entirely different question. They might have their own strategies that they are dead set in their ways in and they won't change. But if Apple really wants to continue to push the sales of these iPad Pros, I really think they need these two features. 
they need to bring those two things in from Nick OS. Final management and cursor support. Two major things that I think will really improve the overall productivity and usefulness of these iPads. Now, with that all being said, I want to just go back for a second. This is still just so amazing in terms of how much my usage has evolved. I used to spend most of my time either on my desktop, which I still do spend a considerable amount of time on my desktop um, in my office because it is Windows 10 and Windows 10 is just top notch to me. I just love Windows 10. But anyhow, um, and I was always just use my Mac as mainly just for my video editing and things like that. Um, but now, with this iPad Pro, I'm finding that I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I do my video editing and stuff like that yet on this iPad. I don't. I still like using the actual uh, iMovie on Mac OS for that. But I will say this. I will say that I am finding that I would say 90% of the time, I would rather be using this iPad Pro than anything else. Not my Mac, not my desktop, just sitting with this iPad, with my magic keyboard, and just call that good enough. Um, I do not own the smart keyboard that is uh, $200 with the 12.9 inch model. I probably will not buy the smart keyboard um, just for the simple fact that it's just expensive. And I don't really, the times I need to type, it's easy enough for me to connect my magic keyboard to this. And the rest of the time, I have uh, either my tablet stand to to prop it up with, or I do have the, as you can see, the um, the hundred dollar smart folio case, which again is eh, pretty expensive for what it is. But again, it's uh, I, I always complain about the price, but yet yeah, it's absolutely very really good quality and aligns perfectly with the magnets inside the iPad. So really, it's not that bad. And um, so. In conclusion, I, I really, I have to kind of uh, make a confession here, and that is that I probably did speak too soon in my other videos where I kind of just said the iPad felt 12.9 and still felt too cumbersome. Um, I probably should have owned it before I said that, but again, at that time, I still thought that the 11 inch model was the, the sweet spot. And by all means, I still stand by that. I think for some people, the 11 inch is where it's at. But if you plan on doing any kind of uses that, that could be seen as productive, whether it's Microsoft Office, or video editing, or photo editing, or any kind of art, like drawing or painting, you're going to want to have this bigger canvas to do it on, and nothing beats this beautiful to put on inside that. Um, again, besides those two other things I talked about with, the, with, um, with iOS, the other thing is just the price tag. That's the only other downside I would say is you really have to get the 256 model because 64 gigabytes is just very, it's very small for, for storage. And again, that's one way that I really just continue to take issue with Apple is the nickel and diamond. And I said that, I know I said that in many of the videos, and it still stands too. Why nickel and diamonds? I mean, there's no reason they couldn't at least give us 128 gigabytes uh, for the day's line model instead of making us jump to the 256 so we have a decent amount of storage. But either way, I'm over the moon happy with this. And um, again, I will say for any of you that intend on doing anything productive, the 12.9 inch is the model you should get. This is not one of those cases where I can kind of just uh, kind of waffle and be like, well, maybe you should do this if you're this person. No, I would say it's pretty clear cut. Even if you don't want to spend the money, take another couple months if you have to, to save up for the 12.9 inch and get this model. Unless you really don't want the slightly larger size, if your main focus is just casual use and portability, then yes, maybe still get the 11 inch. Everyone else, definitely get the 12.9 inch. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. 
Until then, peace out for now, and please hit that subscribe button below.